You are looking beardier than the last time I saw you. I didn't know there was video here. I would have put on a shirt. <laughs> well, <laughs> nobody but Slancer and I can see you, so it's okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh god, what voice do I want to give him? <laughs> Figures serve me right for trying to scare you. Yeah, he looks like Foghorn Leghorn to me. Do that. <laughs> oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Al do it. Albus. Apparently, I didn't hide my presence very well at all. <laughs> good to I say, good to see you, Shadow. <laughs> what are you doing here, and what is that voice? <laughs> Well, I say, I say, this is our home, after all. Where else would I be? <laughs> I don't know, down on the farm? <laughs> no, it's not that. Aren't you on a mission from God? Yes, but I wanted to make sure that things here were okay. Any news worth sharing? I mean, a couple of <laughs> eggs hatched recently. I think one of them's a rooster. I think they're gonna steal your job. Wait, who's Sharon? <laughs> um, was it off in the training area there? I'm trying to remember myself. This is embarrassing because this was only like two hours ago. Well, a lot happened two hours ago. We both ate. I'm still eating. Exactly. So my body can be a vessel for Dominus. That sounds ominous, among other things. That was kinky. I uh, sit. That was gonna Damn it, you beat me to it! <laughs> <laughs> I say, what did you just say? Dominus? You? That's right. Or maybe it was Domino's, I'm not sure. I'm craving pizza very badly right now. I cannot remember the last time I had Domino's, and their website is, like, way more complicated than several of the other websites I order from. Hmm. Domino's is a what? big mistake. <laughs> we, we need you in more streams, Courage. That's all there is to it. Yeah. I have ill-informed opinions a many. I don't read well. <laughs> this is hilarious, given how much you read. Mm. Oh, I don't read facts very well. Oh, okay. Mm. Hi, Santa. His name is even almost Nicholas! Yeah! How does the local government not recognize that they need to deal with the brain alien thing? That's a, I, well, I mean, this is, like, Transylvania, um, during the 1800s. It, do they, they, they have, have a little- They were responsive because they were autocratic. Yeah, yes, and their autocrat was Dracula, who we keep killing off. Maybe the government would work better if we stopped killing Dracula. Yeah, unpopular opinion, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, look look how much of like a shithole the world is in the show Castlevania. Make America Dracula again. <laughs> <laughs> but he was never Dracula or American, I mean. <laughs> it doesn't have to be real as long as it's catchy. There. I'm supposed to be the bearer of the dominoes. He promised me that mu there was going to be stuffed crust. I was promised stuffed crust. But the master said you, the colonel, might have an interest in you instead, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did, did he tell you about the eleven secret herbs and spices? <laughs> that you're unfit to be the bearer of dominoes? Yes. But, uh, yes, I do know at least one of the, uh, the secret spices. It's geometry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he would never say such a thing about the geometry. <laughs> but Falcon Lakehorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's time. I have to go. If I don't do it in ten minutes or less, I don't get a tip. Wait, Shinoa, you don't understand! 
or wrong. Uh, I'm as much of a member of the Clessy as you are. Or do, are those eclairs, actually? The, yes, those come with uh, the Domino's Pizza now. Oh, cool. Can I comment briefly on some of the enemies that we've encountered? Okay. Of course. So the, the, uh, the prevalence of the decapitated horses' heads makes me think that the Sicilian Mafia is probably involved here. Um, I didn't know they had reached into Eastern Europe. I thought they spread west, but that's my what I suspect based on seeing the Godfather. I need to rewatch the Godfather because the time I saw the uh, first two parts of that, I was a little bit drunk because it was uh, that one Thanksgiving where it was just the two of us. Oh uh, yeah, those were the good days. Where, oh, where uh, I made, I, also I made the, the, <laughs> the zombies you're fighting are literally my physique goals. <laughs> Look at that posture. That's that, 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 that's a confident posture. Evil comes from the belly. I cannot do a good Mako impression. That was a good thing. Was that the Thanksgiving we did the uh, the Asian twist on? Um, uh, wait, was that Thanksgiving? Yeah, that was that was that Thanksgiving. Um. Because basically I couldn't make it back to Oklahoma, and uh, you were like... And like, like mom and dad actually were like, don't bother your brother, he has other shit on his mind. And so like, I'm asking friends about it, and then you're finally like, Dude, are you going to Oklahoma for Thanksgiving? Well, no. Dude, why wasn't I the first person you friggin' called? Well, mom and dad told me not to! Well, they're no, wise, I'm, I'm always like three minutes away from... Failing and ruining my whole life, so I understand. S says Dr. Courage. That isn't correct at all! We're supposed to deliver quality food to people at a bargain price! It's fine, Dracula gets the early book special. <laughs> uh. For that reason, I will become Domino's, the blade to banish all evil. <laughs> Fair enough! <laughs> I need to add something to our to our uh, cards against humanity deck now. Hmm. And we're we're oh. I have become Domino's destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Domino's, <laughs> the blade to banish all evil. <laughs> oh, can I only summon one at a time? Well, that's disappointing. Ugh, <laughs> uh, that, that is the stupidest thing, and I love it. <laughs> the purpose of this ritual is to make sure your body will adjust to the dominoes, the sheer cheese, and the stuffed crust. Oh my, stuffed crust. I mean, yes, sir. Is that guy a cardiologist? Maybe. <laughs> but when it's over, I'll fall in love again. <laughs> 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 oh god, this game is so wordy and we're making it so much better. <laughs> That's right, Shinoa. You will be able to wield our most powerful food. <laughs> Do Dominoes, which is topped with eclairs as the ultimate weapon against Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Brains. Trench coat, butt stuff. Trench coat, butt stuff. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Are those pizza boxes around? Hey. Those are totally pizza boxes. Mm. Foghorn Leghorn, you know how crucial the ritual is. I say you li I say you lied to me. Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> I was to be the bearer of the stuffed crust. You promised me. We each have a role. If you had gotten the Burger King order correctly, you might understand that. <laughs> Above all else, Shinoa is the only one with the gastric capacity for Domino's. <laughs> you know that as well as I do. Go, my giant smurf. Did he just... Move I on. didn't know they could do that! 
Tell me, Foghorn Leghorn, what do you intend to do with the dominoes? <laughs> You're gonna you eat said it. Your car. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the all three pizzas by myself and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> like an American. <laughs> like an American. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you said it yourself. Each one of us has a role, and like a fine master, you finally showed me what mine must be. Nom 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 nom. This is my new martial arts style. I just slowly walk through people. <laughs> so, so you're the juggernaut. Now he moves fast. He charges forward. I shamble slowly with my hips forward. And it's. It's more of a, a Weekend at Bernie's type of martial art. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I talked to a bunch of my friends who are physicians, and my blood pressure is fine as long as I stay drunk. The problem with drinking alcohol is that your blood pressure is much, much higher when you stop drinking. So really, stopping drinking is the problem. And I'm writing a book about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're writing a scholarly paper by oh. Dr. Courage. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, I won't use my real name, but Courage has some opinions about that. <laughs> uh, but just shuffle off here. Be rational. Without stuffed crust, I'll miss. Ow! Oh god, I can't even do the voices anymore. I have my own mission and a gun. I feel like the zombie is proving more helpful than it has any right to be. Yeah. Oh, these bastards. I remember you guys. I hate you. Because you're in, like, the uh, inverted chapel or something. My god, there's a lot of you. Clearly, they reproduce like rabbits. How does that work? Good question. They don't have much. I'm having flashbacks to Grim Fandango. <laughs> How do the birds work? How do the birds work? Mmm, rotten meat. Turns out it's the dog food. We also do a uh, dog food delivery apparently in Domino's. Oh, okay. I mean, if Starbucks we has the puppuccino, why not? My wife thinks real life is scarier than this game. <laughs> I mean, have you been outside lately? Hmm. Your name is Falcon Leghorn, is it not? <laughs> well, yes, I am Senator Foghorn Leghorn, thank you very much. By order of my master, I'm to retrieve the Domino's glyph and return you home. Home, you say? I have no home. I, I am I am the king of the hobos. All I need is the dominoes to eat in my car with the stuffed crust. Uh. Your father is Papa John. <laughs> Intriguing. I recall you being a great deal more graceful than that. Perhaps you ate too much of the stuffed crust. And you've forgotten your skill with the stuffed crust as well. Sorry, I have a question for you. Ethical question. Mm -hmm. What is it that you have against Axe Knights, specifically? <laughs> they keep killing me! Oh, fair. Okay. Fair <laughs> argument. <laughs> this message of the Axe Knight Defamation League? <laughs> uh. I meant to say Anti-Defamation League. No, we, we're totally defaming those Axe Knights. <laughs> I'm a member of the Axe Knight Defamation League. Those motherfuckers! <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm okay with a Shovel Knight, but if you don't dare come here with an Axe Knight, they need not apply. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did the song, Sun, Sun, Everywhere, a Sun, come to mind? Uh. It's the friggin' Predator. Seems it. Oh, hi, Frankie! Why do you have a flamethrower? Oh, Why are you bad? Oh. 
Wait, the one-armed Frankenstein flamethrower guy is my favorite character in the game so far. <laughs> that that is your next D and D character. That is my next Halloween costume. <laughs> I still need to like give Judas Priest a proper listen. You got me those albums a long time ago, and I still haven't sat down and done that yet, and I feel bad. Dude, dude believe it or not, they have a like their newest album called Firepower is like one of their best records ever. You should just really? listen to that. Just find it on YouTube. Okay. Because, like, what I've heard of Judas... I mean, I'm not a hair metal guy, as you're well aware, but, like, what I've listened to of Judas Priest, I generally like. Yeah, first of all, Judas Priest isn't hair metal, and you need to take that back. Just... Get your genres right. They're a new album. Just... New wave of British heavy metal. Okay. <laughs> du duly noted. I'm not gonna okay, remember that. that hair. He had a mullet for a while, but he never had the big hair. But their newest record, Firepower, sounds like an 80s record with like modern production, and it's catchy and it's but heavy, but and it's amazing. Cool. Well, I'd best be off. Take care, Shinoa. I'm off to eat me some pizza. Oh, he dropped the shiny thing. It was the keys to his car. No! Lantern, in the first Cthulhu campaign you played in college, didn't someone just accidentally roll really well to push the, the main boss off of a cliff into lava and accidentally end the campaign before anything cool could happen? That, that wasn't the Call of Cthulhu campaign. That was one of the D&D campaigns with Paul, and that was me. <laughs> like... Like, for several years straight, I just had the habit, whenever we got into a D&D campaign, or any RP campaign, to just derail it by prematurely killing the final boss. Like, um... Within the rules, though. Within the rules. The thing that happened with the Call of Cthulhu campaign, um... Uh, Lee, Lee had an epic final boss fight planned. Um, this was set in, like, pre-World War I colonial Africa. And we were a bunch of people from a bunch of different countries with our own little agendas. But um, we're, we're going to this old um, Abrahamic temple. And um, oh, th this is the, a great and mighty Ed story, too. Um, we, we get to the temple, and outside it, there are two statu statues of angels. One is a light one, and it looks upset about something. The other one is a dark angel. So, so I was I was a substitute player in that campaign, which means like, basically I could hop in and play any of the characters because we had all the character sheets. And um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna do knowledge of religion. What is the first ink? The light angel statue. I rolled a 15. Oh, that that is the uh, angel Ra archangel Raphael, the great healer. And like Lee goes on for like 10 minutes of detail about this angel. Okay. I'm gonna roll knowledge of religion. What's the other angel statue? I roll higher. It's an angel. I rolled higher. Huh. It's an angel. I I you turned to Ed. <laughs> I turned I turned to Ed. Ed, you still have that dynamite we found earlier that we, we stole from the drunk guy? Yep. Ed, bring out the dynamite. What? Bring out the dynamite. So like we put the dynamite in front of the statue, and like, it mysteriously blows out, but then we, like, I rig up a way for the dynamite to stay lit. We blow up the Dark Angel statue. It ends up being reduced to a head, and leaves like, its eyes start glowing. Ed, pull out your gun. Ed pulls out his big-ass gun, shoots the angel statue head, blows it away, and leaves like, Lee pulls out a sheet of paper. You see this? These were the stats for that boss fight you just derailed. <laughs> crumple, crumple. <laughs> that, and so after that, like we go into the temple. There is a room that is just engulfing darkness. Okay, I'm gonna light a lantern and push it into the darkness. You hear, you hear the lantern breaking, and you see oil on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna light the oil. God damn it, Lantern! <laughs> so, so I set his backup big boss on fire, and he's just like, God, 
this. Just you! <laughs> you are the worst! <laughs> But yeah, like, just whenever there was a final boss, I had the habit of like, oh, he's monologuing? I'm gonna make a strength check and push him off that cliff there. <laughs> Natural 20. What up, bitch? <laughs>